Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about um, drop-down lists. So thanks to Ralph Capilli before I begin for requesting this one. It's been a bit of fun setting it up for you. What I've done here is I've done a basic spreadsheet. Now in this case I'm basing it on my job which is teaching. So you have a list of students, you have some results from tests maybe in percentages, and you have some comments that you want to insert. This is not an automatic thing, this is where you actually select from a list of comments. You can set up automatically generated comments for numbers, but in my experience there's lots of reasons why people get different numbers. So what I've done is I've, I've written a series of comments that I think would be typical that I would give to students. Um, you might agree or disagree with those comments, it doesn't really matter, they're just in here for the sake of use today. Um, and what I'm going to show you is how to do a drop down list in each of these boxes so you can choose from any one of the comments that you write and with a press of a button you can insert that comment or a series of comments that will be separated by a comma. So when it comes time to generating reports and things like that your reports are already written and you can insert these comments as you mark the tests. Alright so before we begin, I've written the basic workflow here, so if my words aren't making sense or I'm going too fast for you, you can slow the video down or just pause it and look at the basic workflow. So let's get started. I want to put some drop-down comments in this area here. So I highlight the area next to the um, results that I want to comment on, and I press Data. I go all the way down to Data Validation. Uh, this is where we're going to be operating in today and I press data validation. Now as you can see the sheets that I've highlighted are already here. If I wanted to change that I could select a new data range. I don't. I've already highlighted where I want to put the drop down box options. Then I have a whole range of criteria here. We're just going to use list from a range today. Um, if you want to do your own work you can, you can do that later on. The next thing I do, because spreadsheets aren't that intuitive, you've got to tell them where the data is that they'll be that they'll be choosing from. So what we do here is we click on the little spreadsheet icon here. That goes away and it asks you for what data. So all I have to do is highlight where this data is. So I, this time I've highlighted where my comments are that I want to insert in the drop down menu and I press OK. That's it. Once we press save, you will see a whole lot of little arrows come up here and say Laddie who got 34% on their test, you might suggest to them that they read questions more carefully. Uh, Dwayne might have had a problem with significant figures and rounding so that you can put that there. And that's pretty much it. Now for test two, we might decide to do the same thing again. Um, let's put in a couple of other numbers. Um, so this is for people who didn't quite get it the first time, so I'll do exactly the same thing again. First thing I'll do is I'll highlight this area where I want to put the comments in. Then I'll go up to data. And then I will go down the bottom to data validation. My range I've already selected. Where I get my comments from, I highlight. I press OK and I save. That then brings up a whole heap of little icons. I can then choose from any of those what I want to do and what I want to put in. It's a nice handy little tool if you want a series of comments from a series of assessments to put together say into a report for any particular purpose and you don't want to have to write everything at the same time. So that's four minutes. I think that's long enough for a how-to video. Um, I'm happy to expand on this series if anyone has any requests or suggestions. Thanks very much guys and I appreciate you watching.